So. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. Welcome back. Um, this is version mukbang 2.5 because the second one doesn't really count since it stopped recording. Let's hope this one actually records. Let's fucking hope. Let's, the answer. No, no. Let's go around and say what we each got. From By the, the way, we're getting fucking. Oh, right. I got. I don't even remember what I got. Cheese, is this cheese burrito or crunch? Is it no, bro. We got Taco Bell. If you haven't noticed. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm about to go in. Do you get the cheesy burger crunch? I got the crunch. Right, I got the crunch. I got cheesy burger crunch. And I got an XXL um, grilled stuff burrito. Ugh. I'm just rolling my lipstick again. I'm just too hard fucking already. No, it's fine. It's, it's just, just, it's just cheese. version <laughs> two point nine. I know. <laughs> okay, first question. Do you like pickles? What did you got? I really feel like that. My Alzheimer's. You are listening to me. This is like the second time. Literally, just like say it again. <laughs> Girl, you heard it. Do y'all like pickles? I like pickles, but I don't like them like in sandwiches or like with other food. Like I like eating pickles by themselves, like or on the side. I do. Like I don't get them on like in my burger. I do. Pickle eaters know how to fight. <laughs> I don't believe that. I heard that's a lie. You hate pickles. I don't think I've had a. I, I don't think I've eaten a real pickle, like a whole. Only in like a subway or something. Like, I had pickles on things, but like, I just don't even know how to hold it. Do you wrap it in a napkin and then the napkin's like on the, you know? Like, do you wrap, wrap it in, wrap it? Do you wrap it in like wax <laughs> paper? Like, usually like, I go to IHOP and like, I get the burgers and the burgers come with the pickles. So the pickles are like on the plate next to the burgers and fries. Cut up. Oh, like a spear? No, like cut up, like next to like. Okay. But it's just like I could not eat like a whole fucking like. It's just like a long ass. Like, okay, that's, I can do that. Yeah, it's sickening. I wouldn't say I love it. I don't like them in burgers, but I feel like they like make everything else taste like the pickle. That's why our house mine is so powerful because they put it on the side. Oh. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Their mind is just so powerful. I got a question that said nails or no nails. <laughs> well, I mean, no. When you're like booked. And you're at a show, you should be wearing nails or if not gloves, just like Alaska says. But yeah, we're doing yeah. a mukbang and. Yeah. Fuck me. Like, For me, it depends on how much I'm getting paid. And we're not getting paid. Boot. <laughs> today, yeah. so. if, if it's not a photo shoot and I'm not getting paid the amount that I have sat in my head, you might get a kiss nail set from Walgreens. <laughs> or I'll paint that bitch. Six dollars, bitch. Right. Also, if you're doing a photo shoot and you don't have nails on, like, oh, you can't face two nails on. Says who? <laughs> I'm very <Irina. laughs> But also, there are some girls, I'm not gonna name any names. Here she goes. I won't. That will take, have a whole photo shoot, edit everything down, promote the, the image, but won't have nails on. What the fuck you gonna promote an image for? With no fucking nails on. I'm wondering. Just a disclaimer, I'm not giving a story. I, wait, who? Oh, it's um. What's her name? Robbie Turner. It's Robbie Turner. Don't know her. Uber. <laughs> her Uber driver shaking. Her Uber driver found dead. <laughs> oh my god. Someone said, "How did you start the house?" And like, how did we all meet? I really don't know. Okay, we met when I was like twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, aka last year. No, yeah, like last year. Literally, it was no. You were like sixteen. I was sixteen when we met. It was so I was twenty-two. It was like a pride. Well, pride. I was a progress. That's progress right. part. Make sure you guys. We're Paul. Okay. FKA was friends with a lot of people that like I knew, like Emma and Lily. And then FKA, I met FKA that night and I was like, this bitch is sick name. And then we were like friends online. And then like, I guess we became friends in real life. <laughs> then I was like, yeah, she's sick. Like, I want her in my house. And then I asked her when I was really drunk when I was sport. I was really drunk when I was out. <laughs> I met Eddie on Grinder. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. Because I had, um, it wasn't a sexual thing. Good. So, not that all your hits. But I I remember I had this profile picture where I was just like smizing and I had like. No, you had the, the lollipop. <laughs> no, it wasn't that one. It was the one that had my like long hair tuck, tucked behind my ears and had like a like highlighter and a little, a little gloss or something. <laughs> and she was like, go off, sis. <laughs> I was 
they go bag it. Go upstairs. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, who is this? And then um, come to find out, I'm like scrolling after we already have like that grinder conversation because we had like this huge. Okay, we start texting after that. Though. Yeah. Yeah. I scrolled through like my camera roll one day and like months back I had screenshotted one of his makeup looks not knowing that like it was the, the boy I was talking with on Grindr <laughs> and I was like oh my god it's Eddie and then I met Toto that following December because we, we met in person in like, July no we met at Internet Friends on Waterproof oh that's right yes and I had it on like the Red Beret my uh -huh. hair I had pants on <laughs> I remember the and, white sneakers, and I was like, "Who's this like ball of sunshine?" Ball, this black ball of sunshine. <laughs> there it was, also trash. Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. always. <laughs> and then the the whole idea, like I never wanted to have like a house, or like I thought the whole idea didn't make sense. But then I was talking with my dad mother, who was like the house of Dion, whatever. And I love her, miss you. Shout out to Athena. Come back, miss you. But she was like, "It's so funny that you like." you should just make a whole little house of like girls that are just doing a bunch of cool shit. And I was like, I don't know. She's like, you should call it this, you should call it that. She had like House of Protein. <laughs> that was okay, funny. first I remember when you asked me to part your cards, you were like, since you like do boxing, since you're like butch. FK literally talks about boxing like, like she still actively does it once a week. I literally remember doing boxing. <laughs> I miss it so much. Then do it, girl. Meanwhile, I've only done like volleyball. You went to the gym once. I went to the gym like, maybe like twice. So like I fit in the whole thing. <laughs> but it was more like about the idea of just doing stuff that's not stereotypical drag in relation to Miami. And here, here we are! We <laughs> are eating Taco Bell, so atypical. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers to that, ladies. Well, hello. Well, hello. Let's, let's celebrate <laughs> that. Oh, oh, this is not even our bean, so it should be good. Are you sure? Is that beef or beef? This is literally some lettuce with cheese and tortilla. <laughs> oh, I don't want my money back. Someone asked what your favorite number to perform is. That was cut off from our last one. Oh, um, the last one I said Prima Donna Girl. Did the, did the answer change? No. <laughs> <laughs> Same. My favorite number to perform is Heavy Metal and Reflective. Miss you, Mama C. And I'm gonna perform Prima Donna again. Absolutely. But this time I'm gonna do a mix. With what? Bubba Wim, bitch. Oh, a whole marina mix. I live. My favorite probably right now at this very moment is Babies on Fire. Because it's just like... So you're fierce the Babies on Fire? Yeah, fierce Babies on Fire. Because it's like two of my favorite artists. Because she's since retired into you. Because I've retired into you. And, <laughs> until... For wait for it, y'all. January 1st, 12.01, 2019. I'm performing it. 12.01. No, as, as, as soon as the clock strikes me... Oh, 12. 12. Oh, as soon as the clock strikes me... thought that she was referring to the year when you said 12.01. I'm not even kidding. I was like, girl, it's like 2019. I was like, it was the year 1,201. Hopefully, it's 1,201. It would be the <laughs> one. <laughs> but what is your favorite club experience? <laughs> my aspiration <laughs> <laughs> to be happy. Fuck my foot. Feels like a corpse. A whole corpse. Sleep. <laughs> my favorite club experience would have to be. Oh my god, I said it. I said it the last time. I was like, yeah, it was on Toto's birthday when we went to Grams. And me and her got literally so trapped. <laughs> yeah. That we came home. <laughs> and then we were gonna go to like this other club. And then I have this whole clown makeup on. And I'm like, girl, I'm gonna be pissed for the club. So I'm like, let me take my mug off. And then, <laughs> and then I start this new paint, and I'm just looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm just letting her go. I'm laying in bed, like, <laughs> and I'm fucking trashing my makeup, and like, I'm literally just staring in the mirror, like, what the hell going on? <laughs> she took that off, stayed it. Like, oh no, I have to stay it. No, but then at the same it. time, <laughs> keep in mind my birthday party started at three. I left the party at like nine. 30. 9 30. Oh, yeah. Then I tried to go back out because it was my other friend's birthday, slash, I was supposed to be hosting. And I showed up as a boy because they told me to show up as a boy. And I just could not even like pull myself <laughs> to life. I just was sitting in the chair like. <laughs> it was horrible. Because <laughs> they were singing Happy Birthday to Regina, and Regina was like staring at me, expecting me to sing it back. And I was like, I can't move my limbs. Like, I don't know what you expect from me. I don't know what you want. What's your least favorite club experience? 
many. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I don't like when people come up to me and come out to me at the club. I don't know what to do in this situation, so if you're one of those people, please don't at the club because I'm probably working and then you coming out to me is really stressful. I'm happy for you, but like, <laughs> I'm happy for you. But you just, like, they come up to you, I'm, I'm gay. Like, love that for you. Thank you so much for sharing. In this setting, who is it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, bitch. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know, I was drunk. You're late to the party, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just hate seeing old trade at the club. Like, if I already used to you up once, like, I don't want to see you again, girl. If I used you up. Yeah, like, Ooh. I don't want to see you again, girl. Ooh. Used you up. Boobs. You don't want to see no flashlight. Absolutely not. I'm just like, just stay like wherever you are at. I just like to you. you. I just like to utilize the trade. Because, like, if you're nice to them, they'll probably tip you more than, like, a normal person. I mean, obviously, if I'm in drag, but if I'm out of drag and you're there and I'm trying to go up for this boy, but you're fucking there staring at me, <laughs> I'm just like, you get the fuck away from me. Like, <laughs> FKA trade is on the loose. <laughs> Mine was um, an experience with, like, a really drunk person. That's like being, like, and then she goes having like, no balance. <laughs> Anytime she goes like, with me. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch like, goes off, <laughs> and she gets a little, a little, a little one, 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 one primary vodka. Do you remember when I was sitting in the bus stop and then Holly was like, Rock <gasps> <and Rock." laughs> She was literally like, <laughs> <laughs> I have the video, insert video. And and she's she's like, like, Apparently the same that Tatiana was at the club and you guys were like, oh my god, did you see Tatiana? I'm like, girl, where? Tatiana was literally at the bar and we were sitting across from her and we were just looking at Eddie just like... <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Meanwhile, Mr. All-Stars 2 is there. She turned All-Stars 2. She did boots. She's amazing. We love her Tatiana. Absolutely. Oh, and she looked so fresh. Like, I'm pretty Always. Sure. I'm pretty I sure. love her. But she's like big. Oh yeah, she's definitely a tall woman. Like, huge. Yeah. But she looked like an Amazon. Yeah, she's incredible. I saw, I saw her outside of um, town in DC, and I was like, "You look so good." She's wearing jeans and like a crop top, and I was like, "You look so good." She's like, "Wig, Amazon top, Amazon jeans, true religion." I was <laughs> like, "So <laughs> annoying," <laughs> but she looked fish. She literally went to the end sneakers, and then she went to the after party just to carry, because they weren't they weren't even serving alcohol at that point. She was like, "I just want to like walk around." Me. <laughs> Literally. Oh, another one was, what's your favorite makeup artist? Who is your, you're, you're just Pat McGrath now? Oh, I said, who's your favorite not, lo like, more local? Not like local, but like, more like, small beauty influencer. Yeah. For me, it's makeup by Shania, Haley and Nice. <laughs> you know I stand makeup by Shania. Boots, and WTF, which is... We love her sister. Yeah, love her. And then um, she's fucking amazing. Like her complexion work is literally out of this world. And like she's going out there. Like that's my sister. Morphine love. <laughs> Our good Shut sus up, morphine. Yeah. The only bitch. Who else? I mean, for me, I only really follow a couple. I follow Makeup by Shania because I just I like love a good woman of color who like. Oh my god, Marley. Oh, glam gods. We're all wearing. Oh, I know. We're all wearing glam goth glitters. Da -da. By the way, in the zodiac collection. Well, we'll Cherries in the and Aquarius. What am I wearing? I'm wearing Leo and Sugar, Sugar Baby. Sugar Baby. I mix them. I'm wearing White Widow and some like runner mask, like star glitter. <laughs> so if you are a glitter bitch, which you should be, because everyone should be. Glam goth glitters. Oh yeah, that was a question. Glitter. I was like. Is water wet, bitch? Like, <laughs> <laughs> always glitter. Or the other chunky glitter that I used to put all over my face and my body. Electric, yeah, electric cosmetics. I always implement glitter somehow. Like if I'm <laughs> if I'm doing a matte eye, I do glitter lip. <laughs> Something. I was texting FK one time when I was doing like a soft glam, and I was like, "So, can you define soft glam?" And she was like, "No glitters and no bright colors." As I have like the orange pigment about to go in the corner, I was like. I need to get you the Anastasia South Glam palette. Uh, it's just like I need bright colors. Anastasia's races, they're like not box friendly. Is it the tea? I only have one Anastasia product. Well, their eyeshadows are pretty ashy. I'm not gonna name them. <laughs> when we were at Marshall's shopping for makeup and we used the Kat Von D, I was just swatching it. Every tone that I put on my arm looked gray. Not only was it ashy, but it was also like a horrible like <laughs> It was like, oh, this blue would look good. But at the same time, it could also Not be counterfeit because like a lot of those TJ Maxx companies and like they all shop from like independent people. Counterfeet. We'll get through this together. We'll get through this together. She needs to level up. Where you saw level up? Stop. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. <laughs> but it counterfeit. 
It's just spelled like counterfeit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Reading Rainbow. <laughs> no, but it, it is. I think it, it could be counterfeit. I did get a Paris Hilton like she's body like print. Feet. She's like counterfeit. She's like counterfeit. Did I say counterfeit? You said like counterfeit. That's what it is. Yeah, counterfeit. Okay. From Siri, how do you pronounce the word counterfeit? Here's what I found on the web for Siri. How do you pronounce the word counterfeit? There she go. She said it. Okay, but I just would have said counterfeit. I would have lost it. <laughs> I would. You, you got that iPhone too. Uh, yeah, girl. She shoots in 4K. Okay, I have the iPhone too. It's okay, at least you don't have an Android. You will too. Oh, you have an Android. You guys are very much the daily thanks to Shane St. Paul. Why are y'all so fucking stunning? Thank you. Genetics. Thank you. Thank you. Genetics. That's why I want to make over my base. <laughs> Banana powder. At what age did you decide drag was your thing? When I was like two. Um, it's not. <laughs> See, this is an interesting question. Like, I decided drag was my thing a couple months ago. I'm still not convinced it's mine. I didn't start drag on, like, up until like recently, like in December, but like, I got into the world of drag when I first started watching drag. <laughs> it's Which like you're trying not to like admit that. I'm trying not to admit that. <laughs> Cause it's like <laughs> no, but that's when I. But at the same time, when you're like as young as us, like that's our only yeah. like way of actually like becoming familiarized so. with like the drag community. No, but if I wasn't like I was thrown full fledged into like maggotry when I was young, Drag Race is still my first like actually aside because I didn't know that Ursula, who used to perform at my house, was a drag queen. I just thought it was like Ursula coming to my house. That was a drag queen's name. She would come to my house and perform. And I would just be gagged. I was like, Ursula's in my house, she had the costume, whatever. But I didn't like make a connection that it's a drag queen. So I would say Drag Race season, it wasn't season one, I didn't watch that. I'd probably say season three, I was watching Engage one of my dorm rooms with my friends. And I was like, I love this. But I was like, I never wanted to do that. Freshman year, VH1. Freshman year, 2010. I was like, you're watching Drag Race on VH1. 2010, I was eight, I was 18, not 10. So Tanya and I were literally 10. You were not 10 years old. In 2008? You said 2010. Yes, I was 10. I was 11. But when Drag Race was back then, it was like, it was a lot smaller. People were just watching it because they were like interested in the show. Now it's like, I want to get a little piece of this. I want to really, I want to be a drag queen. I want books. I want fame. I want this. Yeah. It's like, yeah. The thing is, like before I started watching Drag Race, I was 16 when I first started watching it. Mm-hmm. Season 7. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> but before I like started watching Drag Race, like I knew of drag queens, like mm -hmm. I knew they, they existed. <laughs> <laughs> but I did like it wasn't until I started watching Drag Race that I was exposed to like all the different like styles of drag and like how powerful drag could be. And we're not even there yet. And we're like exactly. Yeah, drag. like it's, the show hasn't gone all the way. Like so that. like we haven't gone all the way. I'm taking over the world, bitch. You heard it here first. So when I started watching Drag Race, I was like, oh shit. Remember what she said about the styles of drag? Yeah. They haven't even hit everything. Exactly. Yeah. Give like, me a drag. Like, they drag give you like an introduction of like what drag is, and then like the rest is up to you. Give me a drag king on the show. Tender up. But that's how like, that's how powerful drag race is though. Because before I started watching drag race, like I thought I had like a very like one track mind. Oh like, yeah yeah. Of, like what a drag queen was up until when I started watching drag race, and I was like, oh, every queen is different. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you can decide. Which, granted, Drag Race still doesn't show a lot of different styles of drag, but it's evolving. Okay. Yes. Definitely. It's all to report. We love being progressive. Progression. We're gonna eat that. She's literally letting it sit. I was... <laughs> She's trying to stall. Is there anyone go... Drag no. No. <laughs> no. No. I don't Let's see. What's the question? Drag Race Season 13. Thoughts and opinions? <laughs> Um, I am not auditioning for Drag Race until I'm ready emotionally, physically, sonically, musically, anywhere in ending in me, really. <laughs> Season 13. That's so far away. I mean, that's when we turn 21. Same. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it would have to depend on like what's going on in my actual life. Yeah. Because like... I mean, you're already doing so well with the show. But what, we're, what a lot of people forget is like when you get on that show, you have to stop your whole life. And give up all the things that you're doing. I feel like you literally have to like stop whatever the fuck you're doing and then just live your life for RuPaul. And that's scary to me because I have like a dog and my career. Like I can't just like disappear and like leave all my clients like. Yeah. 
you know, I had to have an emotional support animal, so. You have ADHD too? And I have boots. That's why these videos are so long, they only answer three questions, so I can't focus. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the camera on our first mud bomb. Can I ask a question? What question do you want, Gabe? <laughs> so where do you see yourselves in three years? Oh, we just asked them to answer that. Oh, did you? In our first did we? In our second one. Oh, they asked if there were any glass ceilings yeah. we wanted to break. Oh, boots. Well, I mean, that's different, I guess. In the next three years, I'll literally be 21. I don't know. I'll probably be doing the same thing. Honestly, what about you? Y'all. I'm gonna be 87 in three years. Her eggs cracked. Her name um, cracked. Marie Lavo is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll release an album. Maybe I'll just carry <laughs> thought. Because right? and I'm a whole ass clown. Like I, it's so big. <laughs> no, I I don't know if really music is my thing or but there are a lot of, of avenues that I want to attempt. Because you don't know if you're good at something or bad at something until you try it. Um, and I'm, I like producing events, so maybe I can even produce events on a larger scale. I'm hit some shit this year, but who knows what I'll be doing in three. Yeah. In three, girl, all I hope is that I'm happy. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't know what I would be doing in three either. Like, I literally have just turned 21. Yeah, and I can't like really think about what's happening past like next week, so. No, that ass. <laughs> well, you never know what kind of stuff like comes to you. Exactly, like it all depends on the, like, the things that like you go through. Because if you have your email in your bio, you never know who's gonna email you. Exactly. When someone asks if I've ever fucked in drag. <clears throat> I don't wanna answer that. I could not know. I have. You have? Yes. Girl, you wanna leave that out? You would, of course you wanna leave that out, but I was like, telling you, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna make this all, this whole part we're still carrying, but I it's gonna be mute. I have to get it, yeah. <laughs> What's your hair glue? Boots. He literally goes like this. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Someone asked me and I said no because my hair is not glued in usually unless I'm like just performing and then I'm probably sweating so I don't want that. Also I'm brown so my makeup is going to be all over the fucking place. The white sheets bitch. I have not. No. It's just as of yet. <laughs> we'll see how the man is. And that's where we're going to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any follow-up questions, good shit. And stay tuned for Zodiac. Stay tuned for Zodiac. Oh yeah, that's coming up. Yeah, we're gonna we're literally about to record. <laughs> we're gonna record right now. We're gonna go in on every single one of you. So we're gonna post it later. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>